Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Oh, you guys. Coffee cheers, everybody. It's, it's toasty here, but trust me, you don't want me not having coffee. Oh, my goodness. Happy Saturday, everybody. Welcome to Whispers and in Ink. For those that are new, I'm Jennifer Merle Hampshire. And oh, I have, it's the beginning of the month, you guys. I have so much to tell you. It's going to take forever. All right. So I hope that everybody, ta -ta -ta -ta, I hope everybody is having an amazing day. I also hope that you guys are ready for some information because I've got a lot. Oh, dang it. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get to where I need to be. Good morning. Oh, wait. Sure. And sorry. Okay. Good morning, Nancy. All right. So, I have a ton of ton of stuff to um get to today and I'm you guys my main distraction is home. So he was working on my truck. So the truck is fixed. Yay! Which is super exciting. And oh, it was nerve wracking not having a vehicle. Only for a couple of days. But hey, Susan W. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, I have, like I said, you guys, I have a ton of stuff to go through today. So I'm going to dive right in. No shenanigans this morning whatsoever because I have a lot, a lot to tell you. And I know I said that already. All right. So first off, the first thing I want to talk to you about is this sweet sunflowers. You guys, this is the up and coming paper pumpkin. You have four days to subscribe. Good morning, Doris. Um, you have four days to describe to to subscribe to get your sweet sunflower kit, and I'm gonna tell you just from the artwork alone that I've seen, I am so so excited about this one. If you have any questions, if you need a link to subscribe, I will get you a link. You will not want to miss this one. I. You guys, look at how gorgeous that is. Now, I know I shared, and I'll share later today on the main page, but I shared some of the artwork for the inspiration board for this paper pumpkin. It is going to be gorgeous. It is going to be gorgeous. I know it. All right, so that's the first reminder. Um, second reminder is that... We got some new celebration items. And not only that, but you guys, we had to say goodbye to another. All right, so this one's been gone for a while, these uh, cards and envelopes. But last weekend, and it's been confirmed, we will not be getting any more of this one. So gone, gone, gone. Now, I will say, for those of you, if you ordered last weekend and you were not able to get this or this, they are back in stock when I looked last night. So the Rings of Love, which I've used, and this set are back in stock. It was the paper. They had ran out of the paper and it didn't get here fast enough. All right, but let's go through what they added now. And I want to make a point of saying something because these are items that are in the um, current catalogs, but you need to use these item numbers, the item numbers that are on this sheet <clears throat> to get them for free. If you use the annual or if you use the catalog numbers, you'll pay for them and I don't want you to do that. So there's one, two, three, four, five, there's six fifty dollars and then there's one, two, three, there's four hundred dollar items. 
So the timber embossing folder, the gingham embossing folder, seashells embossing folder. So those three are those three are fifty dollars and all embossing folders. The brushed metallic here and then the silver foil are both $50 items. And then these little craft boxes, and you guys, I have one, but I couldn't find it because I wanted to show you. It, they're, they're actually super cute. Um, I got one with a cookie in it. It was just a super simple, cute little packaging idea. Now these are all die cuts. These three, are in the annual catalog, the flowers of home, the dots and spots, and the daffodil dies. Those three are free with a hundred dollar purchase. And then this aspen tree dies, you guys, is free and it's from the mini catalog. Good morning, Christina. Good morning, Paula. Good morning, everybody. Um <clears throat> so anyways, <clears throat> sorry you guys. The Aspen dies are free with qualifying purchase. And I want to say that the stamp set that goes with it, I think I looked, it's either $22 or $23 that to go with it. So, I mean, and that can be part of what gets you to $100. Hmm. So, celebration information. That's what this is all about. If you need help finding the numbers on the stuff that they added, reach out. And you guys, if you reach out to me on the business page, I only check the private messages on the business page in the morning and in the evening. So if you are if you are asking questions about something where you need assistance pretty quickly, then message me personally. Um, and that way then I get notification of that. And I will try to help you as best as I can. Um, I I can't, and this is, I feel so stupid sometimes, you guys, but I can't figure out, good morning, Sherry. Um, I can't figure out why I don't get notifications on the business page. I have no idea. Can't figure it out. And, but anyway, so if, if it's something where you need attention pretty quickly please reach out to me personally okay <clears throat> with that being said got celebration covered <sighs> you guys we still have like three things <laughs> crazy oh actually four. Oh, all right i told you this one's gonna be jam-packed you guys all right so celebration if anybody's got any questions about that oh you can email me too you guys email me there all right, events, 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 events. You guys, I did a post where I shared the link to the next two month schedule, August schedule, September schedule. If you have trouble finding it, <clears throat> let me know and I can tag you on it. But I wanna give you a sneaky peeky, August 21st is Stampin' Bingo. If you have, who here has been to Stampin' Bingo? I know that Paula has. I know that Sherry has. I think Susan W's even done. Oh, Nancy Charles is here. Good morning, sweetie. Um, Who's been to Stampin' Bingo? Raise your hand. Lots and lots of fun. Lots of fun. Anyways, if you need access to the link to this, let me know and I will tag you. Um, stamp and bingo is $35. You guys, there's a goodie bag. There is all kinds of things. And I mean like all kinds of things in your goodie bag that you get. So you're not going to want to miss out on that. And if again, if you have any questions, then just go ahead and reach out and I will answer, do the best that I can to answer all your questions. Okay. Now, next, next I want to talk about, let's talk about the Ding Dong Ditch. Ding Dong Ditch this month, you guys. Ding Dong Ditch this month is going to be, what is this one called? I forget. 
Pretty Prince. Pretty Prince. I will tag you, Christina. I just saw your message. Yes. I know. Love schedules. Pretty Prince is, is the Ding Dong Ditch this month. So, the colors in here are, ooh, that one goes there, Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Calypso Coral, and Evening Evergreen. Plus, it says that there's Coastal Cabana in here, probably the lighter shade with the Bermuda Bay, because Coastal looks really good with Bermuda Bay. Um, Gorgeous Grape would be in, in this one. Petal Pink would also be in this one. <clears throat> Razzleberry Shaded Spruce would probably be in this Bermuda Bay one. Anyways, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at this paper, you guys. Isn't that amazing? Oh my gosh, Nancy Charles, you have not been to Stampin' Bingo? <gasps> oh my goodness. Nancy, maybe you need to come down for Stampin' Bingo or do it online. You can do it online. So this, you will get a six by six of each of these papers and you will get a half a bolt of this ribbon and this is the, the metallic edge cotton ribbon. And you will get a little bit of these embellishments. These are the heart pearls, which I thought would be super pretty with all of those dandelions. But I wanted to share something, you guys. Check this out. That is, this is the color of the ribbon. I used my Stampin' Blend, and you can color this ribbon. I love that. Love it. So I, in this one, I used the light Calypso Coral because look how pretty this gets. You can go tone on tone like that. <clears throat> I also thought that the coral would be really pretty with the Bermuda Bay too. But you can color this ribbon. So I... Oh, the DSP Doris. It's gorgeous, Doris. This is awesome. So if you're interested in the Ding Dong Ditch, Ding Dong Ditch will give you good morning trinket. Oh my goodness, girl, where have you been? Um, Ding Dong Ditch gets you PDF instructions for four cards. It gets you a quarter of a pack of paper, half a spool of ribbon, and two full runs of these embellishments for $16 and then whatever postage is to you. Um, and instructions have some photos. And Christina, I know you, I owe you instructions on something. I keep forgetting to email them to you. Um, but it's a great way to get some different ideas, you guys, and to get a little bit of this paper. Now, for those of you that have not done Ding Dong Ditch with me and help me out Christina you have lots of extras after doing just the four cards so you get a lot of extra designer series paper because you guys you're only making four cards with and you'll have some extra parts because I usually do I add some I use what I do what I do is I cut a quarter of a pack of the designer series paper and I make the four cards with that quarter pack. And then I use what's left of that designer series paper for the live. I just add in more cardstock. So you can, and there's still tons left. Even after making eight cards, all you have to do is add your cardstock. So you get die cuts, you get the punches. I do not stamp. So you're going to have to do your own stamp. And I'm Still working on, still working on what bundle I'm going to use. Cause I'm, oh, good morning, Tammy. Um, still working on what bundle to use, you guys, is regards to the stamp set. Because I know the sentiments 
that I'm looking to use and I'm trying to figure out which one's going to give offer me good morning Lisa um what which one's going to offer me the most of what I want because it is I love this wishes that uh, the dandelion when I think of dandelions I don't think of weeds I think of wishes and I hope yes Christina says so many extras exactly um thank you Christina um I don't think of weeds I think of wishes so and that's a choice um but that's what I see I see a lot of wishes and wishing friends well and happy birthday and so I'm working on stamp set Anyways, with that being said, we're moving on because we got lots. We got lots still to go over, you guys. So the ding dong ditch this time is 16. Oh, Bermuda Bay. That's Bermuda Bay trinket. Um, ding dong ditch this month is $16. Like I said, you get half a thing of ribbon, you get some embellishments, and you get a quarter of a pack of that paper. Plus, you get cardstock. There's 10. Five and a half by eight and a half pieces of cardstock. So lots, lots and lots. All right, next. Next, I want to talk about kits because I love kits, you guys. Kits are my favorite. Um, I designed, I was thinking, I was talking to a friend of mine and I was trying to figure out, you guys, I have all these kits. Some I have completely put together, some I have not, but. I want to be able to show you guys the kits easily. So I was trying to figure out how to do that. And last weekend, it popped in my head. So I'm going to share with you, and I'm not done, but I'm going to share with you guys. I decided to take some of that thick chipboard, you guys, that we have. Oh, yes. Christina, great memory, right? That is a great trigger for a memory. I completely agree. Um, I used some of this chip board and I put designer series paper on it so that I could display the kits, you guys. I'm going to put the name of the kit, the item number, and if it's a stamping or no stamping kit. <clears throat> so I'm really excited about this because I can show you guys this is a no stamping kit. Of course, you know I love the butterflies. Look at the inside of the envelopes because that's what's sneak peeking through right up there. And I'll have a way to give you all the information because you guys, kits are online only. I don't, we don't have a catalog for them. So here is the Sentimental Rose one. I have them all set up this way in and granted, they're in sleeves, but the sleeves I can pull them in and out of. So what I did, like this one, Paula was nice enough, and she gave me three of the cards from this kit. And this is another no stamping kit. So if you're in need of a quick thinking of you, or thank you card, or congratulations card, this would be the kit that you would want. Because it's super quick, super easy to put together. And then this one... This one was last month's kit. And you guys, this one is so stinking cute. This one is the best remedy kit. And look at that mouse. Isn't she cute? Oh my goodness. So cute. So this is the best remedy kit. If you have any questions about any of these, you guys, please, please, please reach out. I will be happy to help you. Um, if there's one, good morning, Heather. If there's one that you want to see, um, I can post photos so that you guys can see what's included. But I have, oh my gosh, you guys, I showed you that one. I showed you that one. We've got the best remedy kit. Oh, good morning, Penny. This one, I this one's going on here. And then I have the Christmas tags, you guys. Oh my gosh, they are perfect, Christina, for the, doing them with the kids. Exactly. I got the tag kit for Christmas. And you guys, you've seen these kits before. I did cards with these for a class. 
I'm going to get the orange, the new kit that came out this month. That's what I'm going to put on this one. And then here is the No Matter the Weather kit, which I still love these darn boots. They are so stinking cute. Good morning, Mary. Um, And then, you guys, I don't know where my other post my um postage one went so i gotta find one of those and actually i have a line on that already but those are what i have so far but it, as i add them you guys i will share okay oh all right with that being said i just have a new kit that i just got um, it is a no stamping kit, and I wanted to share with you guys. Um, does anybody have any questions so far? I know a lot of you guys just popped in, but does anybody have any questions? And then I have a question for you. I have a question for you guys. I just got an order yesterday, and it has a bunch of new stuff. If you guys want to see the new stuff, then um, go ahead and say that, let me know that you want to see the new stuff that I just got. Galoshes. Oh my gosh. Rain boots. That's what we, well, galoshes, yes. I could see galoshes too, Christina, most definitely. But yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Deep breath, Paula. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, I think I need a second sip. Yes, it is a great hair day, Penny. Thank you. I know. I was super excited. I was thinking that this morning myself. Thank you very much, honey. Ooh, Heather wants to see the new stuff. Yay. Okay. All right. So I'm going to quickly show you this kit while I'm waiting for the rest of you to say if you want to see the new stuff or not. So I'm going to open this up. This one is, oops, wrong way. This one is the handkerchief card kit. And you guys, it comes with, oh, I'm going to say that's Coastal Cabana and Poppy Parade are the two colors. But what I love is there's a bunch of gold foil in these. Oh, everyone wants to see the new stuff. Why am I not surprised? So this one will go on the board as well. But this one, you guys, this one is an easy do because this one is another one. This one's no stamping. You get all kinds of sentiments. Obviously, here are your directions. Don't forget, this isn't just a pretty picture. This is directions. Directions. All the parts that you need. I'll try to get the glare off of there. There you go. All the parts that you need for each of the two cards. And then it's just a matter of picking your sentiment. Of course you do, yes. Yes, there will be, Doris, yes, there will be pictures of the cards. I'm actually working on the last two. I will be sharing a couple of them next week. Because the Ding Dong Ditch goes all month. You guys have all month to sign up for the Ding Dong Ditch. Look at how pretty that is. Now, I know flowers aren't for everybody, Sherry, if you're still here. But... This is cute and quick cards, you guys. So that's definitely Poppy Parade. And then you've got some nice vellum. You got the gold polka dot vellum. And then just plain vellum. And then, now, some people, I'm not going to say some people. Sometimes people don't understand why there's more than one language in here. And I want to make sure that you guys understand these kits, we're a global company, so we include the French and the German sentiments just to make it easier for one step so that all the kits can be done up and be done. So you've got to celebrate today and thinking of you, and there's one, there's two sets. So you have even, there are four kits, there's four cards in here. So yeah, you have just enough of the sentiments, these two, the thinking of you or the celebrate today to put on the front. And then you've got your die cut images here and here's the pretty. Look at that. That pretty gold foil. And then leaves and then you get glue dots. 
So that's all that's included. And of course, you get the envelopes, which aren't those cute? Polka dots. And which one's this one? And that one's polka dots too. Two different colors. But I love when Stampin' Up! includes pretty envelopes. Love it. Love it, love it. Oh, and you have some dimensionals, and then you have some thread here too. That's actually twine. Baker swine. <clears throat> so I'll be adding that to the... Oh my gosh, Christina, there you go. Christina says her stepmom speaks fluent French. And then you can have an extra sentiment that you can use somewhere else, Christina. That is perfect. Great idea. All right. So that is a great thing. Yes, and that's exactly true. Doris says if those two sentiments don't fit what you need, you can flip them over and add your own sentiment. That is exactly correct. Okay, what do I need this for? Oh, I know what that's for. Okay, so you guys want to see the new stuff. Apparently, you guys want to see the new stuff. All right, let's take another swig of coffee. Hmm. Exactly. All right, so new stuff what else did i get is this all of it yes i think this is all the new catalog stuff so oh my gosh and you guys there's a lot let me get organized let's get a little organized because not everything is where it needs to be because i shared with the girls night group last night this goes with this. I need to grab, I need to grab two sets of dies, you guys. So hang on one sec. Oh my goodness. So many things, you guys. Oh, they're both big ones. That's right. Okay. Both big ones. So two of the things that I got. Good morning, Anna Marie. Um, two of the things that I got are from the annual catalog. Um, so we're going to do those first. And then we're going to do the stuff from the mini catalog. Do I need to add, do I need to grab the mini? Oh, excuse me. Do I need to grab the mini so you guys can see the catalog where they're at? Because I can do that. Let me know. I'll go grab the mini catalog. Ooh, Anna Rabidou's in the house. All right, let me open this one. I didn't open all the dies. Oh, good morning, Karen. Good morning, good morning. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have some drawings to do too, you guys. I'm gonna have to do that today too. I'm working today. Anybody, coffee cheers. Exactly, Anna. Um. I have drawings to do so don't forget you guys comment shared that you shared the video so that we can go through to um might be helpful paula says i hear you paula um um don't forget to type share when you share the video you guys so that i can make sure that everybody gets in on the prize drawings oh i just heard something fall what was it oh Falling on the floor. All right, so grab the mini. Two of these things. Oh, thank you, you guys. Um, Kim's in the house this morning. Thank you, everybody. I so appreciate it. All right, so first one. This one's an annual catalog one, you guys. This is Grassy Grove. This one's been on my wish list for a while because... Oh, I should go grab that card. I have to go grab a card, you guys. I shared it with you guys before. A friend of mine made a, um, a, oh, I, I can't, oh, a Bigfoot card. She had a Bigfoot die from someplace else, but it was so funny. All right, so here's the dies that go with the Grassy Grove. So now I will have some deer. There's a doe, and I would say those are both does, but we got trees. This is what I'm excited about. That right there. 
so excited about that. Oh, there's a third deer. Oh, cool. Very cool. So we could have a whole family. <gasps> a, a family. A deer family, you guys. <laughs> okay, so this is the first one. And I'm just going to kind of go through quick unless you guys stop me and you have a question. Okay? i got to make room for my piles. That one, and then the other one that I got from the annual catalog is the Season of Chic. And this one has flowers and seashells and snowflakes and um, oak leaves and then some big sentiments. You guys, the size of these sentiments, this does not do it any justice. Oh my gosh, Penny, I am so excited about it too. Here's the sentiment size, you guys. This one is a whole, let me see if I can get a piece of cardstock. Hang on. Will that be the color I want? Will that help? Without the glare. There we go. That'll do it. I think it's a long, it's a fox. It has a long tail. Oh! Sherry, well, I'll have to look at that. That would be very cool. Okay, so this is the sentiment. You guys, like I told you, this is like not even half. It's super cool. So lots of opportunities here for stamps. But then, and even the seashells. Oh my gosh, look how big that seashell is, you guys. Isn't that pretty? I love that. But the die cuts. Oh my gosh, I stole these from my friend up in Wisconsin and I use these leaves. Love, love the leaves. This one with this and this and that. And then you've got three different snowflake patterns. You've got what could be sherry. Here's some uh, fish fishnet. Oh, Christina's on the fence. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm totally running on caffeine this morning, Paula. Yes. Um, Christina, you're on the fence? Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I can't wait to show you then. Because I've already got a couple of cards with this. So you will see. But you've got some flowers in here. I like, um, I don't remember what kind. It's a conch, I think. Um... that type of shell but you've got that shell you've got the outline and then you've got this one you guys there are so many possibilities with this set i cannot wait to show you cannot wait all right so we got that oh you guys paula's making fun of me all right here we go in the catalog dun, 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 dun. this one this one's first. Page 21. If you've got your catalog, you guys, I'm on page 21 for the first one. So, this one, this one right here, it's a bundle. I haven't even taken it out of the package. It came yesterday afternoon, you guys. Here's the punch. Yeah. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, here's the punch. But my thing was, what I saw, I saw this here. Let's get a scrap piece. It'd be much easier that way. You guys don't want to see up my nose. We're going to punch this out. Oh, I know. Oh. <gasps> Oh, I'm sure. All right, so it goes this way. Oh, sorry. You're all right, honey. But I want to use it this way for sentiments. I thought that would be really pretty. I love, look at that. Oh, that is a, stimp, a simple punch, you guys, but can be used so many ways. And I'm loving the sentiments that are in here. So I did get the bundle. And the sentiments are good size. 
obviously they're all gonna fit they're all gonna fit in that oh Joe says hi everybody New Year's Christmas um, with love it is pretty isn't it Mary all right, so this one, and then there's outlines too. There's a little gingerbread, a little tree, some snowflakes. So let me read the sentiments. Here we go. Everybody says hi, Joe. Hi. He says hi, everybody. Christmas, New Year, holidays with love, joy, merry, happy, two different pieces. So you can do one inside of the other, and then two different loves to do the same thing baked is a stamp all by itself you've got some holly and some berries for you homemade wishing you a joy and then two from so this can be a tag how awesome is that you guys easy quick you've got a background stamp here too oh i am so excited about this one just from the sentiments and the ability to have the punch you guys because Okay, let's 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 talk minute. Let's be real for a minute. I love die cuts, you guys, but sometimes, and please, somebody tell me I'm not the only one. Sometimes, isn't it nice to just be able to pull the punch out of the drawer? I'm just saying. Sometimes, I don't want to go and crank the machine and do all of the things when I've got to do it like six times sometimes a punch is exactly what you need yes trinket the punch does come all by itself also yes it does all right so right here trinket just the tag punch itself is 19 dollars. the bundle is 36. oh my gosh right penny so yeah I'm glad I'm not the only one, you guys. Oh, see? Oh, I knew you guys were on my side. I knew. All right. That's okay. Yeah, you don't have to get the stamp. That's all right. The punch is definitely where it's at, no doubt. All right. So the next one, oh, you guys, I'm so excited about the next one. Oh, it's on the adjoining page. How perfect is that? love punches for the convenience exactly i got this you guys and i am so excited i shared that one card with you guys that i got on a swap and that i'm going to be honest with you that swap is what did it for me love it good morning kathy um that i love it love it all right so i'm gonna pull this i'm saving all of those here's the die cuts you guys, we are on page 20, just so you know, and check this out. This is just the one, right? Yes. So there's a house. There is a roof. There is a cloud, if you will, a tree, gumdrops, a heart. This goes with the, with the lollipop. Oh, I am just loving this do you guys need to see that card Do you guys need a reminder of why I bought this let me know and then this look at that fence you guys I can even see this fence Ugh, there is a fence in another one I think but I could see this fence I could see that fence as a spooky fence also because it's all intricate and maybe die cut it out with a piece of silver foil i think that would be super cool all right anyways oh and then there's snow obviously you can make snow with that but that's the next one that i bought but it's the sentiments have a sweet christmas sending love from our house to yours um Ooh, never saw the, oh, you didn't see the swap showcase? Oh, Penny, you may need to go back and watch that. There's a lot of inspiration there. Woo! 
let me see. Oh, it's right here. Here it is. This is, that is the card. So this is the Candy Cane DSP, the Sweetest Christmas Designer Series paper. But this is stamped images with that set. Oh, you guys, I am so loving this. It is so fun, Mary. Oh my gosh. So how cool is that? Love it. Love it. So that is this. I just thought it was fun. I know, right, Mary? So fun. All right, so next up, we're going to Halloween next for our Halloween lovers. This is back here. <laughs> think oh, maybe right here I'm on page 56 now yes see Mary I told you it was totally sold me totally so I got the scary cute and I thought this was super cute because you guys, you remember the silhouettes? We got those silhouettes. This could so be a little happy birthday. Isn't it great, Doris? It was a great card. No doubt about it. I could see this as, um, and even this little boy, I could see one of those as a silhouette for a happy birthday card. Just because this is a Halloween set doesn't mean that we can't think outside the box, right, you guys? Oh, Trinket loves Halloween. Hmm. Okay, so this is scary cute. This is a stamp set, but you guys, there's dies. So excited. Oh, Tooth Fairy too. Oh, Christina, that's a great idea. Love that. That's a fantastic idea. Okay, so here's the die cuts, you guys. And this is cool to me because this die, this die here just cuts this out and it does not cut the edge. You need to double it up to cut the edge out. The cool part to me is, is that you could use this and use it as a square instead of using this. And now do you see why you would want that little fence from the gingerbread? Because you could use that on this little spooky forest here. And then there's a haunted house and you've got a bunch of bats and a moon and a kitty and a sentiment piece. This one is a good one, you guys. This is a bundle. So fun. So fun. We will, you guys will see this. I, I you guys know you're going to see that. All right. So anybody got any questions, you know to ask. I will pull stuff back. Okay. Moving on. This one, you guys, I almost missed this. How? I have no idea. Do, do. Page 53. I'm on page, going to page 53, you guys. And actually, I do know how I missed it. Oh, Anna wishes that there was a ghost. You know what, though, Anna? I was thinking that the songbird punch could turn out to be a ghost. With a little punch art. I was looking at that the other day. <clears throat> I'm thinking, where is it? That if you took the songbird and cut the tail off, when we did the, um, it started with class, that's what I saw. And then you have eyes that you could put on the ghost too. So that could be a total ghost, just like that. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You guys are getting me all excited.
Oh, Anna, whatever. So, we're going to take this. My thought is, is that if you cut this this way, Oh, yeah, apparently I'm not talented enough. Brown this out a little bit more. Actually, maybe we need to leave the tail on there. All right, let me grab another piece of scrap. Hang on. We're going to make this work. You guys get to see things in action. I wonder, actually... If we just leave the, not the whole tail, but part of the tail. Oh, trinket, that's what we're here for. Okay, she, trinket, or Anna Rabidou, um, Anna, we're going to have to play with that because I actually kind of like that as a ghost. Corner punch. Ooh, that's a good idea, Christina. But see, I think, too, it's in, con it, in context. You put it on black. To me, that could be a ghost. Or you could cut this part out. I think of that one Casper ghost that had the curly Q top. That's what I see when I see that. But what about like that? Oh, there we go. All it needs is some ice. And I think if you put a little bit of shading on here and you put some eyes on there, and I think, like I said, in context, I think that would pass as a ghost. I really, really do. I think it would be fun, if nothing else. Something different. What do you guys think? Could that pass as a ghost? I kind of wish we had black glitter paper. Not too bad. Oh, Christina likes that. Okay, good. I, yeah, I do think that that, and I mean, I would round that over just a little bit more. But I do think, in context, I think that would be a cute ghost. But, anyways. Alright, so, I'm on page 53, you guys. And that is an embossing folder. And, you guys, it's gorgeous. Look at the photo. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I totally missed it. Oh, Anna, you're right. Black glitter washi tape. I like it. Oh, I'm going to have to mess with that today. Especially with the right sentiment. Exactly. We've got all those scary sentiments. We could totally use that. But look at how pretty that is, you guys. I am loving this embossing folder. Should we... Should we emboss a piece of paper and so you guys can see what it looks like? Because I only have one more after this one. I gotta get a piece of paper. I gotta get a piece of paper. I totally agree with you guys. I think that would be a good ghost. Oh my gosh, Mary, I do too. Yes, emboss, you guys want to see what it looks like? Okay, so here's the folder. And I think I'm going to, I have a piece of soft succulent in here. And I'm going to, I want to get more of the big stuff down on the bottom. So I'm going to run it through this way. Now, who needs help with the sandwich? That's trinket. This is the machine. 
stamp and cut and emboss. So this is an embossing folder. I know we love embossing folders, Christina, exactly. So if you guys have, and I'll bring it when after I emboss it, because I gotta use the big one, because this is a six incher, you guys. For those scrapbookers, you can use this in your scrapbook page. All right, so I'm gonna bring this so I can show you the sandwich. This is a 3D embossing folder. So when you're doing a 3D embossing folder, all you need is plate number one. You need your embossing folder with the paper in it. That goes next. And then plate number four. You put this and you run it through and you're good to go. Now, the other tip that I have, just as a reminder, you guys, you want the fold part the hinge, you want that to go through first so that it doesn't rip. But check out this embossing folder. I'm gonna put it on the black so that you guys can see. <gasps> Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, I love it. And what I would do is I would go through with my soft succulent and I would shade it up a little bit. Yep. Whichever direction, cause I go both ways, Paula. So you want the fold whichever way you're going through. So, yep, exactly. But isn't that a gorgeous folder, you guys? I love it. Love that folder. Okay. So, yeah, one more look at that. Isn't that pretty? Ugh. So much gorgeousness. Yes, Nancy, I love it too. Love it. All right, so that's on page 53. For those of you that missed it, it is $10. And like I said, this is a big one. This is a six incher. So scrapbookers, you can use this one as a mat. Love it. All right. Close that. Put that back in there. Oh, I'm going to put that in there. Yeah, love it, love it. All right, so there's that one. Last thing, and this one I think might be a sleeper. I'm excited about this one. I've been eyeballing this one. I'm on page 67 for those that have a, a catalog. And if you need a catalog, guys, let me know. I can mail you one. Um, I'm on page 67. Now, <clears throat> I wasn't sure about this when I looked at it, but what caught my attention is this mitten. I like doing tags, but I also like doing special cards. So here's your stamp set, and you guys, it's a rubber stamp, but look at how big that mitten is. That's a good size. That could be, that's big enough as a focal image. That's just over two inches, that mitten. But this is not just Christmas, you guys. This is birthday. This is homemade. This could be tags. Let's celebrate you. Merry Christmas. Happy birthday. Be jolly. Hugs and kisses. And then you've got the hearts and the balloon. Mary, you need a catalog? Hey, Mary, two things. How long is it going to be till you put in another order? If it's going to be within the next two weeks, you'll get an you'll get an order quicker. You can request a catalog in an order. If it's going to be longer than that, I can mail you one. Just so you know, let me know. Um, so that's this stamp set. I know you just put in an order. I'm not trying to push. Just so you know, but this is the this to me is where it's at is the die cuts look at these double double door well, not double door but oh you guys this is like a card within itself 
because you've got the score in there, you've got the holes already built in, and you can fold that up and make that a card. But there's two different ones, you guys. Okay, Mary, no problem. No problem. I will get you one. This one, you guys, can be a pocket. So I was thinking with this one that we could do faker shakers in this one. But so many fun things in this. You've got polka dots or little splatters. You've got, look at that gorgeous snowflake. Love that. You've got another circle die sentiment here. That's the made with love. Those two, you can die cut those out. Um, but here was the fun one that I was thinking about. Look at the birthday candles. Yeah, it is, right? I think this one's going to be, a, I, I'm excited about this one. So you've got two different birthday candles here. You've got the two different hearts and they're stitched. And you guys, can you see? They're stitched on both sides. So stitched when you die cut it out, but stitched when if you leave that space there. That's the stuff that I love. It's those little attentions to details. This one is the same way. This and this rectangle. Both the stitching is on the inside and the outside. Love that. Love, love, love it. Oh, can't wait. Oh, Penny, it's a good one for sure. Now, just so you know, it's a tall um, package because here is, here's the, the scary, it's a tall package. This is the regular size, and that's a little bit taller. Oh, Christina, there you go, thinking outside the box. You guys, Christina said that it um, looks like butterfly wings to her. Love that. And look at me, I put this away, and there's a piece missing out of it. Yep, thank you, Penny. <laughs> oh. Which way was it? There we go. Thank you. Okay, oh. you guys, see, I told you, you guys, it's been an hour and we haven't even made anything yet. I do have a card for us today, but that was just some super exciting stuff, right, you guys? Oh, I see, I love... I love how you guys inspire me to try things. So like Christina with those hearts, we can make butterflies out of those. I totally, oh my gosh, Christina. Not only could we make butterflies with those hearts, but we could use a candle, one of those candles for the body. See, you guys, you never know where... It's like window shopping. Exactly, Penny. That's exactly correct. Oh my gosh. But you guys, see this to me is so much fun because you guys, we feed off of each other's ideas and I love it. I do. I love it. Oh, Christina likes that idea too. Okay. Oh, so much fun, you guys. I love it. All right, so should we make a card today? <laughs> oh, cheers, everybody. And you guys, I only have a half a cup of coffee left, so we're going to have to do, we have to make a decision <laughs> on what we're going to do. Mmm. Love it. Love all these ideas, you guys. So no making cards today, huh, guys? You guys are done? Yeah, I do. Anna Marie, I do need a sip of coffee. Oh, oh, I love to share them. And it's fun because Doris, look at all the ideas that you got. You know, from 
all the ladies in the group and everything else. Oh, Susan, yes, I know. There, Christina needs coffee too. A card is always good. Yes, it is, Trinket, very much so. Okay, so always a good idea. All right, so here's what I wanted. I was, let's see. I'm going to tell a story. <laughs> I was outside yesterday, you guys, and I was looking at the flowers. And because you guys know I have flowers everywhere now. Let's see what I got. Okay, Penny, no problem. Um, I saw a ladybug, you guys, on one of the milkweeds because I was looking at my milkweed. I keep milkweed in my garden, you guys, because I love butterflies. So I was looking at one of the leaves of the milkweed and it had a ladybug on it. And I was super excited because I, I actually purchase ladybugs in the spring and I release them at night. So when you release them at night, they have a tendency to stay in your area. So it was a lot of fun to see the ladybug yesterday. But then I was looking at stuff last night. And I, yes, it was definitely red, Vicky. It was definitely a ladybug. Totally. Two dots on it. That was it. Um. Anyways, I was looking at my bits and pieces container, you guys. And... I'm like, you know what? It's been a while. It's a perfect ladybug time. So I have some inspiration for you. And then I found this little piece in my bits and pieces container. So we're going to use that and we're going to make a card. And I'm really excited about the card because, um, because it like popped in my head that we had to do it today. I don't know why, but I know that when things like that happen, they happen for a reason, and somebody needs to see this card today. So, with that being said, that's where the black cardstock piece is because that's what we're using today. And, doo, 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 this was the bits and pieces piece that I found that I was like, oh, we need to do something with that. So this is the ladybug punch with vellum wings. And I was trying to remember, I know ladybugs, I, I gotta tell you, I am all about the pollinators and the ladybugs, definitely. Um, we made these little bees, cause I got bees everywhere. Cause I, you guys know that if I have flowers, those are all, I attract all the pollinators. So, and I was trying to remember where I did this and I think I did this for a YouTube video, but we never created a card with this. So I wanna create a card for that. And I have, I found all of these other things too. So we did butterflies with it. Now the supple, um, glimmer paper is gone, you guys. So know that some of this stuff that I have is no longer around, but, whoops, wrong way. But ideas. So I saw this, and we've got the butterfly. Here's your, this is technically a Japanese beetle, but we call it a ladybug around here. So that's a ladybug. And I used the wings to create flowers. I did that twice. And then this one is also a card or a, a piece. So a lot of things that you can do with that punch, but I love the B part. So let's, let's work on this. I'm gonna put those to the side. I have the stamp set. I don't need the punch, I have it, but I don't need it because it's already done. But I also wanted to use the hive embossing folder. If we're doing bees, we need to use the hive embossing folder, right? And I haven't used this one yet, you guys, believe it or not. Maybe once, because apparently I pulled it out at least once. So we've got the hive embossing folder. And I have some more inspiration when we're done. So don't worry, I've got more cards to share. 
I've got that and I have an inside and I need my trimmer because I need a card base. I think we're going to do a gate fold if you guys are up for it. You guys with me so far? And I need a piece of, that's crushed curry that I used. So I need a piece of crushed curry. That I'm going to put the crushed curry through the hive with the hive embossing folder. So I need a piece of that. And I didn't have one in my scraps, right? Oh, I do have one. I didn't think I did, but apparently I do. Here's one already cut. Whew, almost cut that whole piece, you guys. Let's make sure that this is the right size. Four by five and a quarter, yes. All right, so this is going to be layered on that. And then this, the embossing folder will be going underneath. So I thought we'll emboss this whole thing and then we'll cut this into the appropriate sizes for a gate. Should we do a gate, you guys, with a little, with that B part in the middle? Are you guys good with that? Thumbs up. And I'll go emboss this. Because I got to do it on the big one. Oh, this crushed curry is beautiful. And look at that. There's your embossing folder, you guys. That is the hive embossing folder. Gate folds are fun, Mary says. Definitely. So I think we're going to use this side. And thumbs up. Everybody wants to do the gate fold. Okay. So we're going to have to. I already. Hey, Deb Norman's here. All right. So I have a piece of black cardstock, you guys. And we're going to score both sides. Dark as death. We're not going to use that. Score both sides at two and an eighth. There we go. And this is scored here, but I'm not going to worry about it, you guys, because we're going to put it inside in there. Oh, we need to cut this. So we need to cut this. If we did two and an eighth, then we need to cut this at one and seven eighths. And we'll do the same thing over here. And my, darn it. Okay. So there's that. I'm gonna fold this and get my bone folder. There we go. We'll put our two honeycomb sections here. Apparently I need to replace that blade. Oh, coffee cheers, exactly. So we'll do that. And then we're gonna layer this on top of here and do this. What do you guys think? Super cute, I think. I think this is, what is this one? It is a three by three, so we want to do three and a quarter by three and a quarter. There we go. And this will get layered on top of that. And then we'll just have to stamp the inside. I love the bees too. Oh, you know what, Christina? You can't ask me because I do class prep. Because um, they say, I want to say the rule of thumb is over 5,000 cuts. 
I do class prep with mine. So as far as time wise, I go through a lot more blades than than some. Oh, shoot, you guys. I go through some more blades than the normal person does. There we go. There's that. And then, and you can see what I'm talking about. I get those little hairy pieces. Drives me crazy. Cheerful and summery. That's exactly right, Trinket. Exactly. So, stamp and bingo. There we go. That's better. And you guys, normally all I do to kind of fix how this looks is I just take my scissors and I trim off the schmeglies. Just to clean it up. I don't like that jaggedy look. So should we use the honeycombs this way or this way? I don't know. What do you guys think? This way or this way? Up or down? This would be down and this would be up. So, down, up or down? Emery board it would be a good idea too, Trinket. Yep, I like that idea. Hmm. Yep, 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 yep. This would be down, and that would be up. Christina says up. What do you guys say? So I have one vote for this way. This is down, and this is up. votes for up. Deb Norman says down. I don't think you could go wrong either way, but I'm just curious. What do you guys think? Anybody else want to weigh in? You guys should all be weighing in. There's, We're doing good today as far as Karen wine. Karen says up. Nancy Charles says up. Okay, so I guess at this point, the majority of you guys say up. Sorry, Deb. All right, so we're going to glue these on. And for me... Yeah, right? I agree. It's hard to pick. You like them both. I agree, you guys. It is hard to pick. Okay. I don't think you could go wrong either way. I totally agree. So. All right. So when doing a gate, if you're adding a layer, the key to this is, is you guys, you got to try and line up the top and the bottom because you don't want it to not line up. And here's what I'm talking about. See how that top lines up pretty well? So that's you want that's a that's a key issue. And then we're going to put this one in here in the middle. And then the only thing we have to do is stamp. Um let me see. We could, I think, we are going to stamp a bee on the inside. We're going to stamp, we're going to do crushed curry stamped, and then we're going to do black lines with a, with a, with our black marker, we'll do lines and then I'll do a vellum, we'll do a vellum wing on there. <clears throat> See, I'm grabbing the vellum and I'm grabbing the yellow. 
and I'm grabbing my markers. I already got a ruler. Oh, avalanche. Avalanche! Oh, you guys, I just found... Oh, I didn't. Okay, so... Oh, I gotta get the punch, too. Mooch! What you doing, old man? Mooch came to visit, you guys. All right. Vellum. Punch out our wings and I didn't grab the ink crushed curry there we go bee or busy bee in here like that and I don't mind the variation in color uh, if it bothers you then go ahead and stamp it again and it's really easy to go ahead and stamp again because it's a photopolymer set don't worry about it or you can even, if it's too much, you can bring in your, no, not really. I was going to say blender pen, but that's probably a little bit too heavy. And then I have my markers, my marvelous markers, and I've grabbed my black, and I have a ruler. So because... Because I want to glue the wings on, you guys, I'm going to, and I know it's not proper, but I'm going to put a black line up top here so that I can go ahead and glue the wings there. There. Well, I need to go up a little bit thicker. There we go. Well, that one needs to be a little thicker too. And I'm using the paintbrush end of my marker. There we go. And then we need a little bit of glue on here for our wings. Whoops. Let's see. May your greatest wish come true. I like it's a good day. I think we're going to double sentiment. My friend, it's a good day. We're going to try it off. Let's see. Try it on a piece of scrap, because I have one here. Make sure that we like it. And I think we're going to do it in black. Grab my memento. <clears throat> Nope, it's got to go separate. Okay. So what I was checking for to see is if it was close enough that I would be okay with the way the sentiment sits this way. But I'm not. I want it I want the it's a good day to be up a little bit closer. Love having scrap around. 
So we're gonna re-ink this. And we'll put that here. Let it sit and marinate for a second. And then we'll do It's a Good Day. There. Oh, too close, but that's all right. So my friend, It's a Good Day. So that'll be our inside. <clears throat> and the last thing is we need to just put our bees on the front and then we're done. There's that. And I am going to use dimensionals. And remember, I don't remember, this was a while ago, I think. I was talking about on the gatefolds how to put get your dimensionals in the place where you need them to be so I'm putting dimensionals here and then I'm putting dimensionals in the middle here like this so that it goes to the edge so that when you open it you don't see those and I'll put one here, like right there. I'm going to take all these off. And so those tabs are off and those two tabs are off. And actually, I think I'm going to take that middle one off just for some extra security. And that way then, you could glue it if you wanted to, but that way then, you don't see anything. Oh, and why didn't you guys remind me to use the black dimensionals? Dang it. Oh, I always forget about those. But there's our cart today, you guys. Super cute. Think about the bees today and the, and the ladybugs and all that stuff. I know, Trinket, I totally forgot. I do have black dimensionals. All right, so. All right, so you guys saw all of this stuff, but I also have some cards for you. I've got this one. I have this one. Because, you know, ladybugs don't have to be red. I'm just saying. And then I have this one I did. This one I did not. Isn't it cute? I know I love it. Then there's this one. And then, and one more. Then there's this one with the ladybugs. All ladybugs. But I like the idea of the bee. And I also saw, let me see. I also saw, hang on, I need one more black. A little bit more black. Do, 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 do. I think this is big enough. Oh, yes, Penny, case away. No problem. All right, so I'm going to use a black piece. Oh, I have some of those. Deb, great idea. So I saw that this and that's going to be not big enough. Doo -doo. And one set of wings this way could be a butterfly like that like that probably I would cut up one of those antennae so it looks like it's on the side 
So I think that they're totally cute. Now, these two are, this one's from Wendy Lee, and then this one is from, oh, who is it? I know if I saw her, I don't remember what her name is, doggone it. Somebody on Christine's team, you guys. She did that for the shoebox swap in January. Dots. I was trying to figure out what I was looking for. I was looking for some embellishments. Bum, bum, bum. I'm looking. Hang on. There they are. There they are. Black matte dots. Here they are. I like that idea. Layered up or double wings. Yes, we could do that. I could do that. Totally. Hang on. Let's get embellishments on this one. I agree, Anna. It needs something. Do, 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 do. Apparently, these large ones I've been using a lot more than, oh, kitty fur. Gee, I can't imagine where that came from. All right, there's that. And we'll punch out another one. I like the layered look. I agree. I think, actually, when the one that I saw, I think it was cut. But I do like, I like the layered look, definitely. I think we'd have to dirty up the edges on the front one. But yeah, there we go. Yep, so many possibilities, you guys. That's the point. And Paula even has given us permission, you guys, you can it can be whimsical you don't have to go exactly exactly um the way nature is try different things have fun with it i love the pink and the green that was loved it i thought that was so fun yeah i'm trying to remember was this cut i think this was actually cut I think that was it. I think that was it, Anna. But I do like the idea of the double. Definitely. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Oh, you guys, so much. You going to remember it all? I don't even know that I'm going to remember it all. All those awesome ideas. So many things. So many things. What are you going to try first? Tell me. What are you going to try first of the different things that you saw today? Oh, you guys, I'm exhausted. <laughs> okay. So, just as a reminder, just as a reminder, there is a link above in the pinned post above this one, you guys, for um, host code. In case you need it, it's right over there. And that's the most current one, I think. Yep, yep, that's the most current one because I've been closing and opening a couple of them. I know that if you have a question, make sure to comment here, you guys. I will be happy to come back. Can you just scream? Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Penny. Screenshots. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. If you guys have questions about Stampin' Bingo, or if you have questions about, um, I know Christina needs a, 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 Christina and Doris, and I think Penny were the ones that wanted me to tag them on the schedule. I will do that. 
Oh, Trinket, I'm sorry that your hubby is sick, but that's a great excuse, though, to play with your toys. <laughs> um, and I hope that you don't get sick, honey. Um, anyways, if anybody has any questions about anything, like I said, if you private message me, make sure you private message me personally, or you can always send me that email and um, I will get back to you. Oh, you guys, I had so much fun today. I hope that you did too. Um, and remember, if you shared the video, then make sure to type in shared so that I can do the drawings. Oh, Nancy Charles. That's okay. Nancy Charles wants to tag on the schedule. You betcha. All right, you guys. I hope that you have an amazing day today. It's at least here in the Midwest. It's a great day to stay inside because, you guys, the humidity is just awful. Oh, my gosh. It's terrible. It is totally terrible. 100% um, this morning when I went outside with Joe. Blech. All right. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. What are we doing Wednesday? Oh, we're doing Ding Dong Ditch next. That's what we're doing. So, and I have those are going in the mail, you guys. So, for those that ordered Ding Dong Ditch, um, I know that, Cindy, I got that order in. So, I will be mailing yours. I did get your check. So, yeah, I know, Anna, it is awful. Ugh. Um, but, please, you guys, any questions, let me know. Have a great day getting crafty, guys. See you next time.